try to gather your thoughts in. Think about the breath. Try to ask skillful questions about the breath as a way of getting to know what's going on in here, so you can settle in with some understanding. Concentration is not just a matter of forcing the mind to stay in one place. It's a matter of understanding the mind so that it can become snug with its object and detect any little things that would pull it away. You want to watch out for those things, because they can cause you a lot of trouble. At the same time, you want to understand how the mind can relate to an object, so it really is solidly here and it's not likely to get tipped over. So try to bring some understanding to what you're doing. And if you don't know what's going on, well, just remind yourself, one thing you do know, the breath is coming in, the breath is going out. Stay with what you do know. It's all too easy to start fabricating off in different directions about this, that level of jhana, that level of jhana, when am I going to get it, why isn't it appearing? And of course those thoughts get in the way. They're not going to help you. But thinking about jhana is not going to get you into jhana. Watching the breath, thinking the breath, that's what's going to get you in. And the only really objective measure for when you're in jhana is for the fourth jhana your breathing stops. Up until that point, different people will say they have several different steps that they go through. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's more. just means that the territory of your mind is a little bit different, or at least what you're counting as states of concentration. There are many, le many levels beyond, beyond, besides the jhanas. So don't worry about the terms. Worry about just, are you with the breath right now? And do you understand the way the mind is relating to the breath? How does the breath feel? How does the mind feel? Keep watch over that, and the mind will naturally settle in. And then you develop your sensitivity further, so you can settle in even further. That's what it all comes down to. But the maps are there to, to remind you that when something really nice comes up, you're not, you haven't hit nirvana and can go home. There are lots of things along the way that could be mistaken, so that's why the Buddha warns you. But again, you don't get into meditation by reading the maps. You get into meditation by reading your own mind, by reading your own breath. When you give this your full attention, okay, then it becomes a full state of concentration. And that's when you're on the path. 